All right, welcome back to another TK421 Collectibles video. Today, Artillery Trooper TMS 047. Um, have we bought the troopers yet? I don't know, let's have a look at this one. TK421, why aren't you at your post? Because I'm busy buying collectibles, sir. Right, let's have a look at the box then. Uh, TMS 047 Artillery Stormtrooper with the band along the bottom. Looking good. Looks like there's some good stuff with this one. Some good accessories, backpack as well. Um, I guess the question is just whether Hot Toys are releasing too many troopers. Can we have too many troopers? I don't know, let's have a look. So that's that's quite a good uh, chuck in a grenade. Action shot. And here's the figure. So let's get him out of the plastic and have a closer look. So let's start off with some of the accessories then. It is the... Um, one of my favourite parts of the Stormtrooper is the backpack. Um, it comes with all these thermal detonators kind of fixed in, but there's space for another one that's in this pack here. And uh, it's got little grenade holders there that's also in that pack. Um, some good detail on there, a lot of red lights and yeah, a bit of weathering. I'm not sure what this yellow thing is, maybe that's like a massive mortar or something. It's magnetised, so no clips are messing about. It should just stick right to the back of the Stormtrooper. All good. Then we have this, which is obviously the uh, the la artillery mortar launcher thing. Um, it's got it's got these little springs on there, look at them. And they're actually attached as well, so, so you can position it and then I think you can move the feet on here. Yeah, so the feet move like that. Didn't want to put too much pressure on it in case it broke, but some good detail on there, good weathering. And the base, what that does, that, that swivels as well. So you've got a lot, a lot of options for how you want to position that. Looking pretty damn good, that. Uh, and the base, just a regular base artillery stormtrooper, but you can also put that on the top, give it a sand effect. Quite like that. I think I'm going to use that. And you get the obviously the regular regular grabber. And then we have the selection of hands, so weapon holding, all the usual stuff, fists, two grenades, and then a thermal detonator. Um, so let's have a close look at the figure. Okay, so let's have a closer look at the figure. So first off, obviously, he's, <laughs> that yellow is quite um, quite striking. Quite like the red on the Incinerator Trooper, it really stands out. Uh, I like the yellow pauldron as well. I've seen videos where it looks like um, quite dark, but that looks quite light, that. Uh, I'm impressed with that, looking amazing. Um, some slight weathering on the helmet as well. Obviously, it's a bit scratched up, which is what you'd expect someone who's seen quite a bit of fighting and battles and stuff so see the pauldrons are the pauldrons are always pretty unless you like look at the sand trooper the pauldrons are pretty pristine um, and that's that's the same with this one uh, and then the the weathering goes all down the arm armor um, across the middle all weathered there looking all beat up uh, same down that arm. So a bit like the um, Stone Trooper Commander. It's definitely weathered, but it's quite subtle. Not like the, the Sand Trooper or the Jedi Patrol Trooper where they're kind of like caked in sand and dirt and stuff. This has just got like a light kind of dusting. Um, so yeah, as we work further down the figure, quite a lot of um, marks on the on that bit of the, just before you get to the foot on the ankle, ankle armor. And the back, I've noticed this little hole. That's in um, that's in the commander as well. Wonder what that's for. Don't know. But let me know, let me know in the comments what you think that is. Or is it just a bit of decoration or something? But yeah, that looks fucking good. So I'll pop that on there like that. And yeah, that just slots in there, magnetised. Looking cool. The grenades just fit in like that. Looking good. He's got. Fully completed backpack there. Pop that on. So yeah, articulation wise, it's the same as all the others. So obviously it's pretty much the exact same figure as the commander, but with a different paint and a backpack. 
so yeah his arm won't get much higher than that because of the pauldron but the um the straps allow for allow you to move bits of the armor out of the way nothing's connected so it's all easy to move um double jointed knees get ankle tilt on there all good stuff that's quite maneuverable so yeah lots of posing options with that same as with any other stormtrooper really so let's have a quick spin on the turntable so here's a quick pose of him just uh chucking his one of his grenades just took it out of the backpack uh, it's based off that picture really um, if ever i get stuck for a pose or something i have a look on like obviously the art box there's some usually some quite good dynamic poses on there not the greatest of poses but that's not looking too bad i don't think uh, quite like that one but maybe he could be twisted a bit more uh twisted back maybe like his torso should be twisted a bit more but yeah that's all right and now here he is like lugging it into position so he's about to like set it up uh the mortar um again yeah it's dead easy to pose that um and he carries it pretty well somehow uh and just set it up in like a couple of seconds as you can probably tell but um yeah i'm really impressed with the figure i must admit uh like i was saying at the beginning are we having are we getting too many stormtroopers but I don't know, I really, I really like this one. It's going to look great on the shelf next to the others. Let's have another last pose and then... So here's just a simple pose of him stood up next to the mortar, ready to drop a, a grenade into it when he gets his orders from the commander. I tried to put him in a kneeling position like some of the shots on the promo photos, but just Im impossible. For me anyway, I, I just worried about breaking it. So kneeling down, I'm not gonna bother doing. Um, I think that looks pretty good anyway. So yeah, hope you like that quick video of uh, the artillery stormtrooper. Um, let me know in the comments whether you're getting him, whether you've got him on order. Um, I think he's an amazing figure. And I don't think we've got too many troopers. The more the merrier really with troopers, I think. Obviously, variants, of course. Um, yeah, keep them coming, hot toys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, see you in the next video.